con number three is probably the biggest reason that people do not move to Aurora, Ohio. Stick around because we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in this area. Pro number one of living in Aurora, and this is the biggest reason that people move into this area, and that is the school system. Aurora City Schools are consistently ranked around the top 20 schools in all of Ohio, not just Northeast Ohio. And greatschools.com gives them a nine out of 10 and eight out of 10 for their elementary school. You can see the high school and the middle school have a fantastic campus here. Everyone that I've talked to, past clients, people I know that live in the area, really enjoy this school system. It's not gonna be as highly rated as somewhere like Beechwood, Chagrin, uh, Solon or Hudson, but it is still up there and that's really the reason that people move to this area is because it's a good solid school district with a good rating. Pro number two of living in Aurora is the cost of living, Just specifically when you look at home prices and property taxes. Aurora has around 1.8% property tax. That means you're paying 1.8% of your property's value in property tax. That's a lot lower than surrounding areas like Chagrin or Hudson or especially Solon, I believe, is above 2.8%. 2.5 right now, maybe even 2.5. And of course, it's gonna be a lot lower than somewhere like Shaker Heights, which is way up there, like 4% of your property value. Their taxes are insane over there. If you look at average property value, Solon is probably gonna be around 350 to $375,000. So you look at Aurora, you're gonna be in that 300 to 350 range. Uh, Twinsburg is probably a little bit closer to 300, so they are a little bit more affordable over there. But Aurora is still a lot cheaper in terms of prices and property taxes than somewhere like Chagrin or Solon or Hudson. And that's not to say that there aren't expensive houses in Aurora, because if you look at some neighborhoods, especially Barrington, you're going to see houses going up into 1 million, 1 1.5. So there are some really expensive homes in Aurora, and there's a huge range that you can choose from. Moving on to pro number three of living in Aurora, and that's the general location. Like where it sits in Northeast Ohio, you got to be careful because location is going to come up later in this video also. Uh, but just generally where Aurora sits is pretty convenient looking at Cleveland or Akron. We're only about 45 minutes from Cleveland or Akron. Now, realistically, if you're looking at getting there, especially during rush hour, it's probably gonna be more like an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. If you like being outdoors, I love being in the outdoors. There are tons of amazing parks around here. Cuyahoga Valley National Park is thousands of acres. People come from all over the state to visit this place. Uh, within Aurora itself, there's Sunny Lake Park. They have a nice little lake there. Um, they have some trails in there. And if you look at Twinsburg right next door, they have a great little park, Liberty Park as well. There's some really cool ledges, some nice trails there. Right between the lake, the parks, hiking, biking, skiing on Boston Mills and Brandywine, cross country skiing. There's just an endless amount of things that you can do outside. And you're right south, about 15 minutes from Chagrin, 15 minutes from Solon, 15 minutes from Hudson for shopping, restaurants, as well as any kind of entertainment you would want towards the Cleveland Akron area. Before we move on to the cons, I wanna talk about a couple more things. Pro number four, I guess you could say, is the crime rate. Everybody wants to know about a crime rate. And the great thing about Aurora coming back to vocation is that Aurora is surrounded by lower crime rate cities like Chagrin, Hudson, uh, Solon, Twinsburg, Auburn over on the other side. So there isn't a lot of crime within Aurora. Um, it has a much lower than national average crime rate. So you can feel safe. The thing I've heard a lot that people really like about Aurora is that there aren't a lot of, there's not a lot to do in Aurora, which is also a con, but uh, people are not coming to Aurora to do things. Uh, it keeps it more of a quiet, private, small town city. Now that we covered all the great things about living in Aurora, let's talk about some of the cons because there are reasons that people don't want to live here, especially con number three. Con number one is the real estate, the home prices, the demand in Aurora. Yes, property values are more affordable than an area like Chagrin, Solon, or Hudson, but Aurora is still pretty pricey. If you look at the average sale price in Aurora of around $300,000 to $350,000, that's still a lot higher than the state average, which is about $200,000 to $250,000. Homes that are selling less than $300,000 usually go pretty quickly because they are more affordable. If you're looking at new builds in Aurora, it's probably going to run you about $400,000 for a Ryan home. Or if you're looking at Pulte or one of the higher end builders, those can go to five, six hundreds up to 800 and a million dollars for some of the custom home builders. Con number two of living in Aurora is that there really isn't a lot to do here. Like, not a lot at all. I mean, there's the Aurora outlets, which a lot of people come to, and there are parks within Aurora, but this is the Aurora city. 
Uh, this is downtown. They have a Starbucks. They have a grocery store. There just isn't a lot here in terms of restaurants or shopping or anything outside of that. So if you're looking for more restaurants and things to do, that downtown walkable experience, you're gonna have to go to Chagrin or Hudson or Solon. Moving on to con number three, and this is the big one, the reason that people don't like Aurora or don't wanna move here, and that is the location. Now, yes, the general location of it is convenient. You have a lot of parks and a lot of things to do around you, but really, when you look at Aurora, there's no convenient access to any major highways. So if you're looking at taking 422 or 480 or 271, it's gonna take you 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on where you are in Aurora, just to get to those major highways. So if you're looking at working in Cleveland or Akron or outside of Aurora, it's not like Solon where you have 422, 271, 480 access right there and you can just hop on. Now that inconvenience is the biggest reason I hear from people that they're hesitant to look in Aurora. So just remember that extra drive time if you're thinking about moving to this area. So con number four, just to mention this, if you guys live out of state currently, especially south of Ohio, I grew up in Arizona, um, so the winters here can be a little bit rough. Aurora is just under the snow belt, but you still get quite a bit of snow. You're still gonna see six inches, maybe even a foot of snow during the winter here. So it really helps to have a snow blower or a reliable snow plowing surface, and it's definitely a huge benefit to have an attached car garage. Another thing about winter in Ohio you'll hear people say is seasonal depression. That's because it gets gray and cloudy and cold and snowy for probably four months out of the year. Once you hit February, you really want to get out of here um, to a sunny Florida or Arizona state. So just remember that if you're moving from one of those warmer states. Now all that being said, Aurora is still a great place to live. If those cons don't bother you, then it still may be the right place for you. So if you're thinking about moving to the area, what are some options for you looking at real estate and moving here? Now, what I really like about Aurora is the diversity in lifestyles that you can choose from here. There are apartments, there's condos, townhomes, uh, there's new builds, there's uh, houses in neighborhoods with smaller lots, HOAs where they take care of a lot of things for you. Uh, there's houses out in more rural areas. There's just a lot to choose from in Aurora. So probably some of the most popular neighborhoods you're gonna hear of if you're looking in this area are gonna be the Barrington neighborhood, Walden, uh, Hawthorne of Aurora, Aurora Lake, uh, some of the new builds that Pulte is putting up there. So Walden is just a little bit south of Aurora and they have a lot of freestanding condos in here. They do have some single family also, uh, but they have Walden Lake, they have the Walden Golf Club, which is one of two golf courses in this community. Uh, there are probably three to $400,000 houses. Sometimes they go up to five, six, $700,000, uh, but the average price around here is probably three to $400,000. Now Barrington is the other golf course community. It's located just north of town and the houses in there are a little bit more expensive. They go from about five to 600 all the way up into a million, 1.5, 1.7 million dollars. They have a really nice golf course here and this is one of the few communities that actually has quite a few lots left to build on. Pulte is putting up more houses in Aurora Lake, but if you look for lots in Aurora, it's a little bit tough to find available lots to build. And Barrington has probably about five or 10 right now. Now right across from Barrington is the Hawthorne of Aurora development. And this is really special because it shares private access to this huge lake here with one community across the lake, Aurora Shores. So if you live in this community, you have access to the boat docks, which you can rent, you can have kayaks, they even have water skiing lessons here. Uh, and they also have a really nice pool and clubhouse and tennis courts within this community also. Now this is a really popular neighborhood and houses sell pretty quickly in here. I think there's only one for sale right now. It's probably pending. Uh, so there is a little bit of a tougher competition trying to get into this neighborhood. Now another thing I really like about Aurora is that if you're looking for a little bit more land, maybe more than one acre, there are options for that within the Aurora School District also. Most of those houses and land are gonna be up on the northeast side, a little bit closer to Auburn. But there's some really nice neighborhoods out there. I grew up on 100 acres, so I like a little bit more space between my neighbors, having a little bit more privacy. So it's great to have that option in uh, Aurora School District. So that's it guys, the pros and cons of living in Aurora, Ohio, as well as some of the real estate here. If you got any value from this, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll have more videos out like this. And of course, if you would like to know more about Aurora, please call or text or email me anytime. I'd love to hear from you guys. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you around Northeast Ohio.